Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing with chapter 7, Geometrical Optics. So for this video, we are continuing to discuss on 7.3 thin lenses. So example 11. Okay. So the equations that we will use in this subtopic is 1 over f equals to 1 over u plus 1 over b. And the second equation is the magnification m equals to negative v over u equals to h image over h object. And the third equation is the lens maker equation 1 over f equals to n2 over n1 minus 1 times 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2. Okay, where n2 here is the material of the lens and n1 is the medium. Okay, so let's start with example 11. A person with a height of 1.7 meter is standing 2.5 meter in front of the camera. The camera used a thin biconvex lens of the ready 7.69 mm. The lens made from the crown glass of the reflective index 1.52. Okay, so we have the object image. So we have the height of the object. Okay, we have the value for u 2.5, and then we have the radius 7.69 mm and the refractive index is 1.52 okay so number one we want to calculate the focal length of the lens okay so since we have the radius we have the refractive index so we can use the third equation 1 over f equals to n2 over n1 minus 1 times 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 okay so this is the biconvex okay meaning that the radius here is positive and the r2 is negative okay so I substitute in N2 is the material So the glass is made out of the refractive index 1.52 N1 Because the question still mentioned is uh, what is the medium So we assume that it's the air So the refractive index for air is 1 minus 1 okay, 1 over R1 Where R1 is positive 7.69 mm Minus negative R2 Okay 7.69 exponent negative 3 okay so why I substitute negative because this is the concave surface okay and R1 is positive because it's a convex surface okay so therefore the focal length of the lens is equal to positive 7.39 exponent negative 3 meter okay so positive focal length positive meaning that it's a converging Okay, so converging lens meaning that it's actually a convex lens. Okay, and here already mentioned this is a biconvex. Okay, so therefore the focal length you will get positive. Okay, B, sketch and label a ray diagram to show the formations of the image. Okay, so when you want to sketch, you must find first what is the value for U and also what is the value for F. Okay, so from the questions u is equal to 2.5 meter and f that we get is 0 0.00739 okay meaning that our u is actually greater than 2f okay so when u is greater than 2f the image form usually is real inverted diminished okay so we will draw first okay we try to sketch out first whether the image form is it real inverted and diminished yeah? okay so let's say this is the uh, biconvex and this is the physical exit. Okay, so this is F, 2F, this is F, 2F. Okay, so the object is greater than 2F. Okay, meaning the object is supposed to be here. Okay, so the first ray is parallel and then reflected to the second medium passing through F. Okay, so parallel. Okay, and then it will passing through F. Okay, so this is the first ray. The second ray is passing through F and then parallel back. Okay, F and then parallel. Okay, so if you want to draw another line, we can straight away passing through the physical line here. So this is the third line. Okay, this is the third ray. So actually, we only need to draw either two as long as we can get the intercept between the two rays, then it's enough. Okay, so you can draw either one. Huh? So the image form is actually at here. Okay, so the image form is actually a real. Okay, because it's opposite side with the object. Okay, inverted. 
Okay, inverted meaning song sang ke balik, yeah. And then it's smaller. Okay, smaller meaning that it's actually diminished. Okay, because your object is greater than 2F. But the image form is between F and 2F. Okay, so meaning that it's actually smaller. Okay, next C, determine the positions of the image and its height. So since we have U and F, so we can find the image distance where we can use 1 over F equals to 1 over U plus 1 over V. Okay, so substitute focal length just now is positive 7.39, exponent negative 3, U is 2.5. Therefore, the positions of the image form is equal to positive 7.41, exponent negative 3 meter. Okay, so again, positive here shows that it is actually a real image form. Okay, just now we already sketched out and noticed that it's actually from opposite side with the object. Okay, so this is a real image form. Okay, next we want to find the height of the image. Okay, so we can use the second equation, magnification equals to H image over H object and it also equals to negative V over U. Okay, so the H image, we don't know, H object is equals to 1.75, okay, negative V, V is positive 7.41, exponent negative 3, and U is the object distance 2.5. Okay, therefore, the image, the height of the image is equal to negative 5.19, exponent negative 3 meter. So again, when height, you get negative, meaning that it's actually inverted. Okay, so a real image, it will pair with the inverted. Okay, so this is the characteristics of the image form. Okay, next, state the characteristics of the image form. So as we know, it's actually real, it's inverted, and diminished. Okay, now because M is smaller than 1. Okay, real because V is positive, inverted because M or H is negative. Okay, next we go to example 12. A thin plano convex. Okay, so a plano convex here, Okay, meaning that R is positive, R1, R2 is infinity. Okay, it's made out of the glass with a refractive index of 1.66. When an object is set up 10 cm from the lens, a virtual image is 10 times its size. Okay, so U is given 10 cm and the virtual image is 10 times. So V is equal to 10 times of the initial size. Okay, and since the question already mentioned virtual, therefore we must substitute negative because it's, actually, it's, it's virtual. Okay, therefore our V is equal to negative 10 times U, U is 10, so it's negative 100. Okay, so A, determine the focal length of the lens. So we can use the first equation, 1 over F equals to 1 over U plus 1 over V, where U is positive 10, V is negative 100, okay, because it's a virtual image. Okay, therefore the focal length is equal to positive 11.1 cm. Okay, so positive here meaning that it's actually converging. Okay, so for lens, converging is convex. Okay, and actually the question already mentioned is convex, huh? it's plano convex lens. Okay, can B, find the radius of curvature. We want to find a value for R. Okay, so again, for these questions, we cannot use R equals to 2F. Huh? Okay, we cannot use this, is only for mirror. Okay, so we must use 1 over F equals to N2 over N1 minus 1 times 1 over R1 minus 1 over R2. Okay, where N2 is the material, material is 1.66. N1 is the medium, so we assume it's air. Okay, R1, okay, R1 we don't know, okay, R1 we don't know, minus R2, R2 because it's a plano convex, so R2 is infinity. Okay, and F is 1 over positive 11.1. Okay, so therefore, R is equal to positive 7.33 cm. Example number 13, the radius of curvature of the faces of the thin concave meniscus lens of the material with the refractive index 3 over 2 are 20 cm and 10 cm. What is the focal length of the lens in the end? Okay, so here they give us the information where the refractive index is 3 over 2. Okay, so 3 over 2 meaning that the refractive index is 1.5 and the radius here is 20 cm and 10 cm. Okay, so this is 20 cm and the other one R2 it will be positive 10 cm. So what is the focal length okay, of the lens in the end? Okay, meaning that the refractive index of the medium N is equal to 1. Okay?
okay? So we substitute in the equation 1 over f equals to n2 over n1 minus 1, 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2, where n2 is the material and n1 is the medium. Okay, so we substitute in the value, the material that we're using for the length is 3 over 2, so it's 1.5. And the medium is S, so it's 1 minus 1. 1 over R1 is positive 20, minus 1 over R2, and R2 is 10 cm. Okay, therefore, the focal length that we will get is equal to negative 40 cm. Okay, so negative here shows that it's actually diverging. Okay, so for length actually diverging is, is a concave length. Okay, and here I already show you that this is a concave, very good. Okay, so that's all for this video. See you on the next video. See you, bye.